What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. This is also one of those books where I must have just been browsing on the library or I heard about it somewhere and I decided to put a hold on it because when the hold came up, I was like, wow, I don't remember checking this book out at all, but let's get into it. So Spin the Dawn is kind of a Mulan retelling. It definitely starts off very Mulan. We have a girl named Maya who lives in this very small town. She is very close with her father. He is a master tailor and it is her dream to also become a master tailor and to someday become the imperial tailor for the emperor but unfortunately in this continent in this magical land that's not really a job that women get to do but somebody from the palace comes saying that there's going to be an imperial wedding they're looking for a new tailor and they want her father to go and compete in this competition to see who the tailor is going to be but her father hasn't really been sewing much anymore. Mostly she's taken over the job, she's been doing everything herself, but of course this dude doesn't want her, so she masquerades as her brother and goes in his stead. That is obviously very Mulan, and that's kind of where the parallels end. I would say that Maya is a very Mulan type of character and just how caring she is for her father, for her family, how she wants to do what is right. But from then on, it takes a very mystical fantasy quality to it. I love the whole section of the book where she is competing in this trial where she is at the palace we get to meet a lot of really cool characters the empress to be like this princess of this like far off land she's this warrior princess is so cool i was kind of hoping like there was going to be a different trajectory for her and maya but it is what it is it was still very interesting to see but she also meets the master enchanter here named eden and he is great i love eden he's kind of like the companion for the rest of the book because it goes far beyond this trial like Maya is tasked to create these mythical dresses that nobody has ever made before she starts to learn more about magic she learns more about her family she goes on this huge magical journey and it was just such a cool journey it's visually very very stunning I was very into it like the whole time I was reading it and the way it leaves off I am really excited to see where we're gonna go from here because Maya has grown so much she has changed so much there is something inside of her that is starting to transform her and I think we are in for a really really exciting story with the second book. I think this is a duology. I'm not positive. I really recommend Spend the Dawn. I think it was absolutely amazing. It was breathtaking. Like the culture, the color, like the artistry. It was so visual of a book and I just I really recommend it. So I'm giving this book an A plus. Really excited to get into the next one. But anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it be sure to that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe talk books with me every week that is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time bye